Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will create a small landscape. So let's start with just creating a simple background. So therefore I create a new layer and just put a rectangle on it. Color is blue. Then create an an additional new layer for the foreground. Next step is to create some hills. So I select there for the pen tool. Just create the first one. Up, down, down. Like this. Select the correct color here. Okay, looks good. So in the next step, I will just create the sun so that we know from where the light is coming. So therefore I will select the ellipse tool, create an ellipse like this size, maybe a little bit smaller. Select yellow, then select the ellipse, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, to create a duplicate of this one. Select the one in the background, press Alt and Shift at the same time so that we resize it a little bit on the same color. Go to the color guide. If you don't have it, you find it under Windows, color guide. Select a little bit lighter color like this. So this is our sun. We just select both things, group it with our sun. We can maybe make it a little bit smaller and put it like here. So now we know from where the sun is coming and we can adapt our hill. So this one is in this, on the sun side and the other side is a little bit darker. So therefore we again select the pen tool and just lock the hill, select here, select something like here, here, and here. So and then select the color black, go to the appearance panel, select the opacity, Reduce it to 20. Let's look how it looks now. Doesn't look at all. It's too subtle. 50. Yeah, this looks better. Select here, darken. Okay, this is again too much. Let's change it to 30. Okay, cool. This is how it should look. So next step, I will add some ice on the top, some snow. So we therefore again select the pen tool and just go here again, um, lock this one so that we can work here properly. Just select the point here up here, down here, up here, this, this, that. Select as color white. So, and in order to also add the shadow here, we just need to select the path and move it below our shadow path. So now we have our first hill done. So we will now just enable this part here again, select this one, press Alt, just do a copy, make a little bit smaller like this, to have another one, then select this part here, so the base part, just copy it. 
make it a little bit smaller. So, but before we see, here's one error, of course. Now the sun is from here. So this is on the dark, should not be on the dark side, but on the light side. So we can easily fix this by selecting this part, pressing Control C, Control F. So we now created a copy. So now we can select both parts, so this old and this one. Go to Pathfinder, minus front, and now we have this part here. We move it down, and again we select just the same color as here, therefore we can select the eyedropper tool. And now I assume it's not on the correct position, you see it's one to oh so now we have here the light side and here the dark side so and now back to this one so we want to have a little bit different than before so we can select here the direct selection tool just select this point move a little bit out move this one a little bit out so for this one we take this color and this is just a very simple one so we will just as before we will lock this one create here a dark area like this Again, we can just select here our darken part with the eyedropper tool. Okay, so now we have our base parts. So now let's put it all together. So first of all, I just create a small base. a little bit bigger put it here maybe like this then select this part here now I just select the green color for this one so this is our base we put our heads on top of it So, like this. Make them a little bit bigger. So like this. So now we can take the trees we did in the last video, in one of the last videos, just copy our trees, put them here, check just check out my other videos if you didn't see this one before so we have some nice small trees here on the top probably a little bit big compared to the to our hills trees usually not that big maybe add another one here or here so This one we again have to flip, reflect, just because of the sun. So last step is to add some clouds. So therefore we again use this rectangle tool. On the rectangle tool we do something like this. 
can also just use a normal rectangle and change this part. So change the corners. So and now we create just some very basic simple clouds. Here now the corners are wrong. Transform reflect. And we reflect it a second time. Take one another one like this. Select the part here in the Button, just group it with Ctrl G, and then you can just go to alignment, to artboard, and then you can put it directly in the middle. So, and that's it. This is our small but nice landscape. And I hope you liked the video. If, and if you did, please consider subscribing and like the video. Thanks a lot and see you in the next tutorial.